Bravery, determination, hope. We use these words a lot in sport, but today we're meeting women who truly embody these values as we meet the Afghan women's football team. Hello and welcome back to Behind the Chevrons. I'm sure you know the drill by now, but for anyone who's new around here, this is the show where we dive deeper into Hummel and the football shirts that Hummel make but not just the shirts, but the people as well behind the shirts. The people that wear the shirts, the players, the fans, and those that collect the shirts too. My name is Phil, and I'll be your host today for this very special episode where we meet the Afghanistan women's national team. And we've got a former player for Afghanistan here with us today, Mina Ahmadi. So Mina, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you, Mina. Firstly, could you just introduce yourself, where you're based, and what your connection with the Afghanistan team is? Yeah, sure. Well, Amina, I'm uh, living in Hamburg, Germany, and um, I started playing for the Afghanistan national team in 2016. And ever since, I have a very, uh, very strong connection to the team, to the players, to the staff, and uh, I'm very happy. Amazing. And what sort of background have you had in football as well alongside the national team? Any clubs you've played for, anything like that? Yeah, uh, well, I started playing football when I was um, five. Right. Yeah, and nice. I actually played in a team with boys. So, uh, wow. yeah, until I was 14, 15. Uh -huh. Then I started in an all women's team um, right. for, you know, FC Bergedorf, uh, 85. That's uh -huh. where I play currently now. Nice. Yeah, nice. in the highest league in Hamburg. And, Amazing. Yeah. And what was that experience like? as you started playing football with, with the boys team. Yeah. Were, was, were you the only girl in the team? Or? Yeah, actually I was the only girl. Yeah. And I, it was always like, oh, there's a girl on the team. <laughs> and uh, when I started playing, you know, well, everyone was like, what? Girls can play? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, yeah it was always kind of special to be the only one and kind of compete with them. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's where my roots for football are. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. And can I ask what your connection to Afghanistan is? Is that through family? Or? Yeah, so both my parents are from Afghanistan, so mm. I'm um, also Afghan, yeah. of course, uh, but yeah. I was born and raised in Germany. So um, yeah, that's mm. where my roots are from. And I'm very proud, actually, mm. to be uh, from Afghanistan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And as you were growing up playing football, was there a point when you kind of thought I'd like to represent Afghanistan or was it kind of not really on your radar until later well, on? Well, actually, um, my father was a part of the national team, but really? he was a wrestler. So, uh, wow. yeah, he also nice. traveled for the Olympic Games and everything. So it was always kind of my blood yeah. to represent the country. And when it came to it, I was like really proud yeah. and kind of felt like I was, you know, making my father proud as well. So, oh, absolutely. Yeah, and the home country, it's, uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. So 2016, that was when you made your debut yeah. for the team? Yeah. What was that like? Wow, uh, I just thinking back at it, I'm it scanning it, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because um, when yeah. you're on the field and you know the anthem is starting to play mm. and um, you're like standing there so proud to represent this country because we had a troubled past and mm. um, it was kind of a beacon of hope somehow yeah, for yeah, all yeah. the people in Afghanistan, for women in general. Yeah. Um, and I was so, so happy and proud to be able to represent mm. it, yeah. And could you talk about some of the barriers that you've had to overcome as part of the national team, the women's yeah. national team? Well, uh, football in Afghanistan and women especially, it really, if you think about it, you're like, is it even possible? And sure. um, so the, the, the girls that actually played there, they are like the bravest mm. girls, bravest women, in my opinion, around the globe, because yeah. just playing had so many barriers for them. They mm. were, you know, thrown with stones at them when they played or when they went to practice. Mm. And it was such a risk for them to play and they continued to wanting to play and they continued mm. to take the risks. So um, I'm just so, so happy that everyone is now safe, kind of, but sure. um, there are a lot of troubles for them to get there. So mm. um, it's just my kudos to them. They are yeah. really, really awesome. No, I, I would agree. It's incredibly brave and the stories yeah. are incredible. And, and actually, yeah. Mina, we should talk about the current situation. So what's, what's the situation now for the team? Yeah, so uh, actually when the Taliban took over, you know, in mm. August uh, last year, mm. they were fearing for their lives. And so the mission was to kind of get them out of there, get them to safety, mm. which um, with a lot of parties we're th really thankful for. For example, FIFPRO, Khalida, our um, former captain of the team, mm -hmm. they kind of 
I managed to get a lot of the girls that played for the national team out of there, also mm. the youth players. Right. So um, we're really happy about that. So now they're kind of regrouping in Australia. Right. Yeah, as kind of the national team yeah, now. Yeah, so yeah. I'm so, so happy because they made wow. it out of there with a lot of help. Mm. We're so happy that they're safe. And they kind of have, you know, a lot of freedom now to play mm. again. So yeah. um, that's really great, yeah. Yeah, so they're, they're in Australia, as you say. Yeah. Um, do you know what the kind of plans are for the team going forward? Obviously, now yeah. they're a bit safer. That's that's kind of the immediate future. Yeah. Well, uh, actually, they had like their first games now. Okay. They actually won a Amazing. game also. So yeah. they kind of always taking steps forward because in the past it was always like taking three steps forward, but mm. then 10 backwards. It was always kind of yeah. what's, what's been holding us off. And, but now they're free, they're happy, they're <laughs> safe. Um, separated from families, so that's kind of sad, mm -hmm. but you know, they have the freedom to play and mm. um, yeah, that's very nice. Now, of course, it wouldn't be an episode of Behind the Chevrons without a close look at a couple of shirts. I mean, we've got a couple of Afghanistan shirts on the table, let's get them out and yeah. talk about them. Now, we'll start with this shirt from, I believe, 2011. Oh, yeah. Mina, talk to us about this one. What are some of the, the things that stand out for you on this shirt? Yeah, of course, uh, we have the old badge of the Afghanistan Football Federation, yeah. which was founded in 1922. So it was before my time, and I think it's very beautifully yeah, yeah, um, yeah. drawn here. Mm. And, of course, um, what stands out um, the most is the colors of Afghanistan, right. of our flag. Um, as you maybe know, currently the Taliban kind of took away our flag from us and mm. it said that it shouldn't represent Afghanistan. But for us, it has mm. a really, really uh, important message and meaning mm -hmm. because uh, the black kind of represents the troubled past of Afghanistan, mm. which uh, sadly is current again now. Mm. Um, the red is the bloodshed of the wars um, that sadly occurred. And mm. the green, which I think has a very beautiful meaning, it's uh, the hope, the prosperity for a good future mm. and also the religion of Afghanistan, you know, the Islam. For us, it has a really great meaning and uh, we hope for us it's still our flag, actually. Yeah, absolutely. So, so the meaning behind this jersey is very, very awesome because mm. Hummel kind of helped us um, to support the Afghanistan women's national team and support the safety of the mm. women uh, or the players by um, helping us with donating the proceeds of this jersey. Yeah. So um, it's very important for us because the, the challenge of the girls was getting to and from the training safe. Mm. As I said, they were um, attacked when they um, wanted to go to the field, but they kept continuing. Wow. And Hummels is such a strong partner for us in that sense because mm. Our mission always was to be a voice for the voiceless yeah. because um, women all over the world, especially in Afghanistan, face so many difficulties mm. and we always wanted to help them. And Hummel is so awesome with helping us with mm. that because, um, yeah, the proceeds for every jersey sold in 2011 went to exactly that cause. And you can see that, can't you, in this detail here, which talks exactly yeah. about that. Yeah. It's amazing. And the colors again of the flag yeah, there. Yeah, right. So the good to the... see. Yeah. And as a player, how much confidence does it give you when you've got a brand like Hummel who are, who are supporting you in that way? Yeah. It must be an amazing thing to it, have. It really is amazing because Hummel always, you know, their biggest thing was uh, helping us with the details, mm. with everything, you know, mm. kind of wanted always for us to be represented. And yeah. that was something that was missing mm. the past few years. And um, by having such a strong support and such a strong partner, it really gave us an important feeling and um, yeah. we're very happy about that. Yeah, no, it's great. It's such a, such a beautiful jersey as yeah. well uh, yeah. with a great story behind yeah. it. But now let's jump to present day and look at the new Afghanistan shirt. So Mina, here we go, mm -hmm. the latest Afghanistan oh, yeah. national team shirt. A real beauty. <laughs> yeah, there's some amazing details. Yeah. What are some of the, the things here that you could uh, talk us through? Yeah, so what's uh, the most, you know, center of, of this jersey is, of course, uh, the three lines. Yeah, this is an amazing yeah, detail. Really, the imprint is amazing. So they kind of stand for the three teams, of course, the youth, the women's and the men's team. So uh, it also like the lion has a special meaning in Afghanistan. Mm. And so our nickname was actually also lionesses of Afghanistan, yeah, yeah. lions of Afghanistan. So uh, having that um, imprinted here and here is very, very special yeah. and looks just great, of course. It does. So um, there's also a new logo. So uh, yeah, so what's 
what's this logo? So it's uh, it says let's play an equal game. So it's part of uh, Hummel's uh, Karma campaign, mm -hmm. which um, helps us, you know, help the girls that regroup right now in Australia mm. because they left their home, they left their family, and kind of help them regain the strength again and regain mm. the self-esteem. So Hummel is very amazing with that. So all proceeds go, all the proceeds from this jersey mm. go towards that a team wow. or the girls uh, right there so um, it's very amazing that we have you know this partnership yeah. so that we can help them and have you know a nice jersey as well so um, yeah it's really really beautiful and, and also mina uh, this detail here yeah. this looks lovely what what's the story there yeah actually um these kind of dots represent the mountains of afghanistan really so yeah, yeah. we're surrounded by mountains that it's imprinted in the jersey wow. but also um our traditional clothes have patterns like that so it's very they're very colorful very um you know beautifully with with patterns and everything mm. so having those details in that jersey was very special because mm. the designer you know paul fitzgerald and uh, Khalida, they wanted to kind of have the heritage of afghanistan and the mm. culture of afghanistan represented in this uh, jersey and it's uh, i think they did a very very amazing oh, yeah. job so um also you know um the jersey before from 2011 as you said it has like a thick sure. a texture and that one is very light very yeah. you know typical football jersey so having that um kind of when we represented the country yeah. I, I played in that as well yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um it was really beautiful yeah so. and actually that's an interesting thing you mentioned about playing in the shirt mm -hmm. so this am i right in saying was the 2016 shirt yes which has exactly. been uh, kind of got the new badge on it yeah so you actually wore the shirt yeah we we wore the short and uh, what was special about that we had um base layers for that shirts you know with the right. with the hijab yeah. so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, homo was actually they were the first one who kind of did it yeah. and it opened so many doors for us because a lot of the players they had to wear like um their scarf with mm. some some clothing or material from home mm. so it wasn't very fitted for playing sports or football yeah, you know yeah. and them just kind of have base layers in the shorts and um with the, under the jersey mm. really was special at that time and very innovative so um we're very happy that they put so much thought into that making us feel safer or some of us mm. um feel safer playing and feeling more free to play yeah. so um it was really amazing That's actually so That's yeah so, so yeah the the colors of of the flag as i said mm. representing afghanistan yeah. and of course um here at the back you can yeah. say uh see 1922 uh, which is um you know when the afghanistan uh, football federation was founded so yeah so much detail into that shirt and also the away jersey is white so yeah. um very beautiful jersey it is it's a beautiful jersey all the details look great and yeah. the stories as well are so yeah. important so thank yeah. you uh, for sharing that mina and guys mina mentioned about the proceeds of the shirt going to the good cause of the team check out the description there'll be some details about how you can support them there so mina it's been so good to meet you, you thank too. you for thank coming you. on can you just tell us what are your immediate plans for yourself for the future for your playing career yeah of course um I want to keep continue playing because the football is such a great passion of mine um, and maybe one day that would be very the hope of a lot of the girls uh, from Afghanistan and from our team, former mm. team, to play again together maybe one day to have yeah. you know the the group that's um right now in Australia to have them come maybe to Europe play right. here right. because um actually or maybe in Afghanistan because we've never quite played in Afghanistan. Mm. It was always internationally. So maybe one day the country being safe enough for us to travel there, to play there, mm. you know, because our motto as well as being a voice for the voices is mm -hmm. together unbreakable. And mm. I think that's a motto that kind of is with us for the past years, is with us uh, currently, because together we are truly the strongest. And um, every girl in the team and um, outside the team, the staff, mm. they kept fighting so much for this team. And to kind of come together again would be, you know, the, the greatest thing. Yeah, that's amazing. We'll yeah. certainly hope for that. And just, I just want to repeat that phrase as well, together unbreakable, yeah. that sums up yeah. what you guys are all about. That's so great. Yes, yeah, together unbreakable. Yeah. Samina, so thank you so much again. And guys, don't forget, you can pick up the shirt to help support the team. And you can help change the world through sport. That's Hummel's motto here. And whether it's through the Afghanistan women's team or other initiatives, these are some of the ways you can help make a difference in the world.
But thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with new episodes as they happen. Until next time, we'll see you very soon at Behind the Chevrons.